part of this concept of the detox method is to not only work on your nutrition, but also work on your thinking or your relaxation. Uh, a lot of people that I ask, when I ask them about stress, they say they're not stressed. But then I do a cortisol level, I do a sedimentation array, I do a homocysteine level, and it's all elevated. Markers of inflammation uh, are kind of, they can be simple, they can also be very high tech. But why spend the extra money when I know that your sleep is not good, you have to drink alcohol, you're uh, having difficulty with relationships, or you're in an environment or in a job that is going to ultimately expose you to stress. And that's my typical example is my uh, police officers, my firefighters, or my truck drivers. All three of those activities really make you come front to front or face to face with stress every single day, sometimes every hour of every day. So the concept is, even though you might do your job great, the human experience is to have or manifest a reaction to that stressor. And if you're gifted, then it doesn't really show or in you, in your behavior, in your blood tests, or in your disease process. But if you're an average person, the likelihood is sooner or later that's going to either cause a problem or add to the problem, medically, uh, psychologically, or uh, spiritually. So the idea again with detoxing is to not only do the nutrition part, but also do the practice part. And the meditative practice doesn't have to be, it does not have to be joining a, a yoga studio and doing yoga. It can, that's a, certainly a, a good vehicle to learn how to meditate. Uh, it can go, be going to some place like, uh, in my area, it's called a Theosophical Society. Great place, a lot of options as far as lectures, and usually they're free or a minimal charge. But you can probably find your own place around you. Check out the Theosophical Society's uh, lectures and you can see if there's anything in your area uh, by searching on Google. Uh, sometimes you can go to your own synagogue, your church, your place of reverence and ask if there's anything going on as far as programs there. I know a lot of uh, people that are trained or have a degree in pastoral counseling. That doesn't mean you have to be a psychologist or a counselor or a, even a psychiatrist. It just means that there might be another option for people to get into some form of relaxation practice. Again, everybody's a little different with what resonates with them. For me, it's yoga, martial arts, Asian arts, uh, and meditation, as shown by uh, my friend Deepak. The idea with uh, Deepak and Oprah 21-day meditation challenge is to introduce a large community of beginners and weathered me uh, meditation practitioners into some form of group meditation. And if you're... Uh, lucky enough to either subscribe to the 21 days of free uh, guided meditation or if you buy the CDs or you join in and go to the Chopra Center your choice you will probably benefit from that as an inspiration to change and then after you get back to your place your your homes you might be able to develop that even further into your own practice of developing a meditative or grounding practice to be done twice a day on a regular basis just as important as nutrition changes, just as important as changing your activity level, or even developing an activity of some sort. So thinking, eating, and activity has always been the three uh, things of what I suggest patients to look into as far as lifestyle change. It's not just getting into detox, losing weight, being able to poop easily. It's also being able to tolerate the stressors as they come in the season, the stressors as they come every day, or the stressors as they come with the change in your decade of life. There are different challenges that everybody uh, encounters and some people are well built to problem solve during a challenge. Some people don't uh, have the coping skills to do that. And if you wait until the challenge occurs and everybody goes through it, if you wait till the challenge occurs and then you try to develop a problem solving skill, it's going to be difficult at that point in time to uh, try to come up with a solution. So if you practice ahead of time, or if you, even if you don't practice ahead of time, if you seek out the work of a counselor, psychologist, psychiatrist, pastor, 
uh, somebody that a healer of some sort that can help you with um, finding a way out of your predicament it'll be better if you can do the grounding practice ahead of time then it just empowers you even further when the stressor comes up if you're lucky enough and you don't ever in 90 years have a stressor that comes up well good for you but the likelihood is with the community I've seen in the United States whichever state I've been to whichever uh, groups I've been encountered with there's always going to be some form of challenge that occurs to the human mind body and again if you're built for the challenge well the only way to prepare for it is to get built for it that doesn't mean you have to be a full-blown yoga instructor or a meditation uh, teacher it just means that you have to have some form of practice what better way to do that than to initiate it when you go through this detox